Hello viewers, Chief here. Today we're going to be trying this drink. It's not an energy drink, but it's a cola. And the brand is Doritos. It's a Mexican cola. It's made in Mexico. And apparently they've been around since 1950. So that's 70 years producing this line of soft drinks. There's a lot of flavours in this range. I'm starting to see this a little bit more on the supermarkets. And they had a, bit, a few more flavours than I anticipated. I actually like this drink. I've tried it a few times before and I was a bit surprised when I was going through my archives that I haven't actually done a review on this. I suppose not technically being an energy drink, but it is a natural cola flavour and it's a Mexican one. So let's give it a burst and see how we go. What I like about it, it's got the old uh, lever off cap on the top or the king or the crown cap. You do need the old fashioned bottle opener to do it. It's not a twist top and the bottle's still got that old neck or that rounded uh, lip on there where you can put the cap on and you've got to squeeze it around when it's placed on the top. So it's got that old fashioned uh, nostalgia attached to it so it's quite interesting. So Doritos Cola, let's give it a burst, give it a try I should say. We've got a 500ml glass here, we've got one ice cube in there which is approximately one cubic inch, it all depends on how that cube freezes, I can see the top's not flat, but we'll just see how this floats in the liquid. Uh, I'm interested to see how this compares to some of the, the stronger brands of colas around like uh, RC, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. They're the, some of the bigger ones that I can think of. There's a lot of different cola brands around, but being from Mexico, this is quite interesting. Quite a striking bottle. Quite interesting. It's Mexican cola. Since 1950, let's open it up and see how we go. I don't know how much pressure is going to be in this bottle. It might be lightly carbonated. I'll just check this colour. Oh yeah, the, the colour's terrific for a cola. It's got that nice, consistent, light, tan coloured to it. And it's very uniform. There's no little swirls in the bottle. This looks like it's going to be a real treat. Let's open it up and see how we go. This got the old-fashioned bottle open. Let's lever off this crown cap. Let's see if we can get a bit of focus on there. I'm hoping this is in focus. A little bit of a squirt there. Oh, there's a few bubbles rising. Oh, it's starting to spill. Gonna grab a tissue. All three. Let's lever this top off. There we go. Well, it's spilling everywhere, folks, but we're gonna push on because I'm a professional. Well, there you go. That's what we're all about. Live and unedited. Well, we edited a little bit at the end, but as it happens, there you go. This is what happens in real life, especially if you're wearing white clothing and, or you're driving a car, but it can happen when you're doing a taste test review as well. Oh, very, very strong cola taste. So there we have it, folks. That's just how things happen. So Doritos Cola, let's give it a try. Let's have a smell. Oh, a very strong cola smell. Very natural cola -y cola smell. It's not too sweet, not too bitter. That cola nut's in there. Little bit of caramel. Let's pour this into a glass. I'm very much looking forward to this. Oh, just looking at the liquid come through on the glass. Very consistent, very smooth. That colour is is beautiful. It's a nice colour. Gee, I've given it a few big wraps so far. We haven't even tasted it yet. Yeah, it's a nice, rich cola colour. That ice cube, I don't know if you can see the level of the liquid in there. It's floating just about 90% of the way down there. There's a lot of medium-sized bubbles in there. I couldn't see my finger through the thickness of the glass, the, the colour is too consistent, too rich. Let's have a smell. Oh, a very nice natural cola smell. You can definitely taste and smell the difference with the different brands of colas. If you think of the two biggest brands of cola in the world, uh, the most popular one to me is a little bit more bitter than the second most popular one that comes in the blue can. And you can certainly taste and smell the difference. You can't see the difference because they're the same colour. But this one smells different to those two. It's discernibly different. It's a nice, sweet, cola smell. Let's have a taste and see how we go. Mmm, nice and smooth. Yes, very consistent cola taste. Once it hits the tongue and the palate of the mouth, you swell it around and swallow it. Not too strong, not too weak. Just the right mix. I think this is one of the nicest colours I've had. It's very, very appealing. You could easily mix this with something a bit stronger, like some spirits, and it would complement them quite nice. It's not too bitter, not too strong. I'd say this one's in the middle. But there you have it, folks. Mexican cola. 
It's been around for about 70 years. They have other flavours in the range. We'll see if we can pick some up for you guys to uh, have a look at the tests that I do and the reviews. And it's not too bad at all. I do thank you for watching. But if you uh, go out there and you can find some Doritos Cola, I'd give this one 8 out of 10. And I would purchase it. It's not an energy drink, but if you just want an old-fashioned soft drink or a soda or something which is uh, a little bit better for you than having all those chemicals in there, this one is not too bad as a refresher, but it won't give you that energy kick. It might just give you a bit of a rush from the sugar and the natural flavours in there. Thank you for watching. See you on the next test.